Hey folks, Alex here. Um, wanted to say good morning and to um, talk to you really quick about something. I wanted to make a book recommendation and talk about how it went for us yesterday at the when we had the uh, women's Bible study and um, maybe at the end, you know, say, say a little prayer together. So um, yesterday at the uh, women's Bible study that we had online, it was a virtual event that we'll be holding um, every week on uh, Wednesday. Um, it, it went pretty, I think it went well. Granted, there was a lot of technical issues. And I had been having a lot of technical issues for two days prior to this. And um, I did everything I could <laughs> to resolve it, but it was just one thing after another. The computer behind me, which I was gonna use originally, broke down. And I haven't been able to get it working still. Um, so that was crazy in itself. And um, so I had to use a different computer and it's like, it was just a mess. And uh, bottom line is, um, it, it, was, it was hard, but um, those of us who, who are participating in this Bible study managed to um, get together and share and, you know, um, really uh, connect with each other. No, there was no video. Only, they could only see me, but I couldn't see them. And that was, <laughs> that was real. That was hard because I wanted to, to meet these ladies like face to face. So that was another technical issue that once we were we were able to get on, we couldn't see each other like all of us, but I will get that resolved, you know, pray about it that I get, you know, um, God sends me some help. Um, my husband is more of a taker than I am, but I couldn't at that moment, I couldn't bring him in to, to help me with this mess. But uh, yeah, so all I can say about that is spiritual warfare. Um, I've gone through this before <laughs> almost every time, either before I give a talk or, or a retreat or, or something like that, something like this happens and um, I'm not surprised. So I didn't, you know, quite upset me, but it, it's just, um, I don't like how it um, disrupts the whole flow and, you know, the whole, um, the whole event um, and the whole purpose of what you're trying to accomplish, right? Which is to help others connect with other faithful members of the church and um, grow closer to Christ. So um, I wanted to share a book, speaking of spiritual warfare, okay? I've been reading this book, A Family Guide to Spiritual Warfare, um, Strategies for Deliverance and Healing. This is a great book and it's by Kathleen Beckman and uh, recommended by um, Dan Burke, Bishop Thomas Olmsted, and Father Donald Calloway. So it's an excellent book. And it, it's, it's a, if you want to learn how to protect your family from the forces of evil, I highly recommend this book. So I wanted to read a little bit that I thought was really cool on chapter one. You know, whenever I find something really cool that I want to share with you, I'll just come up here, um, get on and record a quick video and share it. Um, so this is on page seven. Demons know that Christ has sealed us in the sign of the cross through baptism, that the Lord has claimed us and that the Holy Spirit has come to dwell in us. No evil spirit may claim us unless we intentionally invite it. Unfortunately, some people are unwittingly opening doorways for demons to enter the domestic church, whether languishing, surviving or thriving every family is called to be vigilant against a real foe who prowls around like a roaring lion seeking one of uh, seeking someone to devour and uh, that that happens in the family or that or on, on a national level i mean it happens in all all different kinds of levels in their in our lives um, love requires protecting the beloved <clears throat> demons attack the family because it's enormous because of its enormous significance in God's plan of salvation. The devil does not need to possess us. He poisons us with the venom of hatred, desolation, envy, and vice. When we let our guard down, he takes advantage of it to destroy our lives, our families, and our communities, writes Pope Francis. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, St. Paul's exhortation to the Corinthians reminds us to be brave. Be watchful, stand firm in your faith, be courageous. 
be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. That was from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verses 13 to 14. And it takes brave men and women to enter a sacramental marriage to have children according to God's plan and to raise them in the faith. This struck me recently when I watched our eager youngest son and his beloved bride exchange marriage vows at the altar of our parish church. I prayed for them to be brave in their witness to Christ, brave in the face of enemies of the family. I prayed that they would keep God at the center of their married life and attain the goal of marriage, which is the eternal salvation of both souls. So, uh, yeah, this I thought this is really nice that that particular um paragraph um in this book so i wanted to share it with you and i want to encourage you to stay strong stay strong in the faith um have a support system a community of of people that that you can um definitely connect with and relate to and talk about matters of of faith um that way it it helps encourage you and keep you strong so so keep the faith keep the faith and if you would um pray this prayer hail mary and um the saint michael prayer together in the name of the father and of the son in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sending love and prayers. Bye-bye.